Welcome back everybody. So we are going to continue on our series of creating a Minecraft server and today we're going to talk about permissions and groups, ranks, all that stuff that everyone always wants on a server because it helps. It clears everything up so much. So no one wants just OPs or players. A little bit in between. So we can add mods and donators, YouTubers, admins, all we can add all the different ranks onto our server. So for this, we're gonna need a couple other plugins. So I will show you we need. I switched my Essentials Plus Plus over to Essentials X because that's a whole lot better, and you should do the same. So we use Essentials X and Essentials X Chat is also what we need. We need Luck Perms, and then all we have to do is just do slash LP for luck perms put in help and here's where we can get started on all our fun job of creating ranks and permissions and all of that fun stuff so first thing we should do is create a basic rank something maybe everyone is gonna get on the whole server like member I guess is what they might call it so we do slash LP create group member member was created slash LP uh, group member and here we have the list that we can of commands that we can do to uh, change things in that group so the easiest one to use is just editor click that link it opens this up and here's where we can add our commands that this rank can get so since we're using essentials uh, this is a list of all of the commands that are included with essentials so we're gonna want to give them general commands is what it's called so if we go past the cheap ones here's the economy ones here's the general ones so we're probably gonna want to give them some economy uh, commands as well. Let's say they can see their own balance because that seems fair. So we copy that in here and we add it. And maybe also they can see the top balances on the server. Let's add that as well. Also we want them to have set home. Let's add that. Now set home is useless without home. So let's add that. Now we want them to see all of their of their commands. So let's do slash help or essentials dot help so we can give them permission slash help. Also we should we, we want to give them rules so they can read the rules of the server. So let's just keep adding and so forth. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is just look through this list of what you want to give them. There's many more that you should give a basic player, but for now this is what I'm just gonna give them and we hit save and we copy that command you can see it's copy to clipboard and paste it in here boom there you go you can see all the commands that were added that's good okay let's add another rank since we're we're doing such a good job of it so let's create group this one we will do as mod we need moderators on our server so we do the same thing except we change this member to mod and here is our editor again and here we can do I won't bore you with all the details but I will just add ban to this and that's it save copy paste okay now you might have saw that I didn't add any other commands to mod. They don't have right now slash home, slash set home, balance, balance top, all of those things I just gave member. They have no access to those. So we want them to have access to that. So instead of adding the commands from the previous rank to the next rank, the easiest way to go about this is if we go slash LP group uh, mod 
or actually, yeah, mod parent and member. Okay, apparently I did something wrong. Let's just go back a little bit. Let's slash LP. Oh, first we do parent. Parent mod. Yeah, what's next? Parent. Ah, first we need to add mod here. And then here we go. Set uh, member. See, now. Mod has their existing parent groups cleared and now only inherits member. So it takes all the commands that member has and now mod has it also. Now, that's fine and dandy, but now no one still has any prefixes. And that's something that I think is important on a server to show everyone that you have a rank so they know who to go to if they have a problem. So let's go slash LP group. Start with member. And then do meta add. Or I'll just show you all the commands they got there. They got all these. So we'll go add prefix. Now the priority is which the lowest rank should have the lowest number, the highest rank should have the highest number. Because if you have now that the lowest rank has the highest number and the highest rank has the lowest number, if somebody's an admin, the prefix is still going to say member on there. We don't want that. So let's just set the member one as priority of one. And then here we add some quotes. And if we want to add color to their prefix, we can do that here. It doesn't really matter, but let's do it like this. Member. And close quotes. Now member has a green tag in front of their name. Now we may as well do the same thing for mod while we're at it. So we do mod. And we want to change this 1 to something higher. Let's change it to 10. Let's change the color of their uh, tag. And let's change this to mod. There you go. So now prefixes are set. Now let's give myself a rank. Because right now the chat, I just have a red name, that's because I'm OP. So, if we go LP, user, RPS96, set group, member, and I say something, you can see I got a green tag in front of my name. Now I'll see if all the commands work for that rank. So let's DOP me, slash help was one of them that I gave me, or gave member. And you can see I have all those commands we just said I'd give them. So that's great. Let's check out the mod. The mod rank. So let's go LP user my name set group mod. And I'm doing this through the console because otherwise it won't work. Because I'm not OP on here. Say hi. You can see that I am indeed a mod on this server. So I can do slash help, and you can see I have one more command that I can use, and that is ban, slash ban. So pretty much you just keep on going forward with this, and you, know, you just have to keep adding different commands, go through a whole list of commands of what you want your players to have, and make sure you don't miss any before you uh, put your server up. So if it helps, go onto other servers and see the, the commands that you get when you start off, and then you can use that to kind of go off of and eventually you're gonna get you're gonna figure out all your ranks and it's it is difficult but it's it's just more time consuming than anything as you can see so that's pretty much the basics on how to how to do this uh, there's so much more you can do in uh, in this program like it gets you can go in depth so much more than this this is just a very minimum basics that you need to worry about for now and you can yet do it that your quests will level you up if you get a certain amount of them or whatever you can have more ranks you can add them it's it can get quite crazy yet I'll show you more a little bit later I'll add quests onto here yet and then I'll show you how you can implement quests with permission ranks and 
Hopefully you'll learn a thing or two from that, but until then, I hope this is helping you a lot with how to set up a server, because this is probably one of the most difficult parts, and I know I've helped many people on servers setting up just the permissions because a lot of people don't know how to do that. And it's really not that hard if you just take some time to learn. I mean, if you watch this YouTube video, you already know the basics to it. That's half the battle right there. So, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.